Hello and welcome to another edition of Air Gun Reviews and Hunting Channel. Last week, myself and club member Mark King, we went to the Las Vegas SHOT Show. We spent Wednesday and Thursday at the SHOT Show. There was a lot of booths to take in in two days. Predator International, a special shout out to Richard Dixon and his uh, co-worker Joe AKA Monkey Dad 1969. Hey, thank you guys. Really enjoyed the shot show. Really appreciate the opportunity to be able to be there. What I'm here to tell you is the video equipment that I have is what you see now. My smartphone. I'm not Steve Shally or guys like him. I don't do this for a living. I'm not a photographer, videographer. What you see is what you get. So if you don't like what you see, then move on. Not gonna hurt my feelings none. But what I have to show you is what I have to show you. Now, if you can stand to watch it, then fine. You can always fast forward. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe, and enjoy. Okay. 45. I've got a little bit of the video from Caliber Gun when we went and visited them at the SHOT Show, but unfortunately the first half of it did not turn out right, so this is the best I can do for you. I got their brochure and the caliber gun. They have the Capybara caliber 2-2 multi-shot semi-auto, which is currently available. It's available in Europe and other areas, but for some reason it is not very popular here in the US. But it's been available since last April of 2000. 2019 but this is their newest bullpup the caliber gun argus 45w they are in production currently as i speak in 22 caliber only will be available aprilish to may time frame i was actually able to shoulder the gun it's very nice the action lever is the pullback type, which can be from, you can switch over from left to right, magazines in the back. It comes with uh, two magazines. And of course they have their standard uh, cricket bull pups which according to caliber gun is still very popular and they still plan on making it which is a good thing even though it's a old platform but a proven platform so i'm happy to hear about that different styles of uh cricket stocks that are available And of course, the Cricut Mini Carving is, is available in the US. You can contact Charlie at Georgia Air Guns. And RNL Supply, I believe, is the, the other source for caliber guns. The Cricut carving is also still available, as, as and along with the Ocelot 22 cal pistol. Again, I apologize. Wish I had some better video from the first half when I did the actual video, but it 
didn't turn out. So on to the next showcase. Well, I'm doing actually a video. Uh, oh, <laughs> I got to put it on my YouTube channel, yeah, of course. You know? So we have uh, the owner of JSB right here, the man himself. All right. Nice to meet you guys. All right. And we got Richard from Predator International. And I carry his suitcases. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Okay, how, I, I just, I, I like the, the big numbers. You don't have to tell me exactly, but how is it containers, I, I guess, you're shipping in and all, uh, I don't know, uh, or I don't know if you can tell me any numbers, but just, or, or, here, here's the point. How many million pellets do you think you go through a year? Yes. I think yeah. I show you how many are produced. Right, right. Yeah, we can produce up to 2.2 million pellets per day. Yeah. 2.2 million yeah, pellets a yeah, day. I believe. Oh, you mean of right. one particular pellet, or is that a total all combination all of total? Total. Oh, yeah. Total of all the types, of all the different uh, calibers, sure. diameters, oh, yeah. weights. It's yeah, total. I believe. That's that's a lot. We process yeah. around two tons of lead per day. Sure. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. the average weight of. Two tons of pellet, uh, two tons of lead per day. Right. Two tons of lead per yeah, day. The average yeah. weight of one pellet at the moment is around one gram. Sure. It includes all those uh, very light 4.5, but also the oh, right. the extremely ones. heavy oh, yeah. nine, sure. uh, nine millimeters. Sure. Oh, it's amazing all the so they ship the all the production. Oh, of course. And come up by sea, so it's on a slow boat from the Czech Republic. Sure. Sure. <laughs> So how long does that process take? A couple months? It does. Oh, yeah. From the time that I place an order okay. with JSB, with Paul's people, okay. it takes uh, probably at least three weeks to produce the container. Two to three weeks. Yeah, two to three weeks at least. And then, uh, and then it's on the, the water and then transportation. It goes from Czech Republic to Bremerhaven, to Bremerhaven Germany catches a boat and goes to Houston. And then from Houston, they unload the container and put it on a rail car and goes to Chicago because there's no direct rail service between Houston and Denver. So it goes to Chicago, they offload it, then it comes to Denver. So that means it's gotta go through the Panama Canal? No, no, no. So where's the, where's the boat? From Bremerhaven. It comes no, from, the, from, from yeah. Germany to, to to Houston, so it goes around Florida and then up into the Gulf. Oh, okay, all right, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's a long journey. So it's, it's a couple <laughs> months from the time we place the order until it arrives. So. And then hopefully, no storms at sea or anything, and all the trouble you can get into with the shipping. And unfortunately, we don't do it too often, but occasionally we're, we have to fly it in. So we don't want to be out for our customers' products. So oh, that's got to be. That's so got to we'll be. We'll fly in sometimes two and three pallets of lead on a commercial airline. It's, it's expensive. It's very expensive. It's, it's, I imagine it is. Oh my God. Yeah, but it saves a lot of time. It's a year within two weeks. Yes. And and then our customers aren't out of stock, which is what's important to us. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you look at these pellets and you think, oh, that's that's just. Oh, then you think about all the what it takes to make them, to ship them, the, the, the just to the design. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, how long does it take to design a pellet? I mean, from start to finish, it. It depends. Sometimes it it's ready within three months. Sometimes it takes a year and a half. Like with the slugs, it took sure. a year and a half to this, to to get a proper yeah. design, to get a proper ballistics. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of uh, try and fail process. Mm -hmm. You make a design which you think it's a perfect one, and then it ends up with the result that you cannot hit the target. So it's uh, and uh, sometimes what looks good on paper right, doesn't work right. in real. All the calculations. Yeah, just, just, yeah, sometimes yeah. just. Yeah. You know, crazy. I watched uh, Steve's video. He he went on the, the tour at JSB, and the women, I have to give it to him. You know, 
I would be cross-eyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looking at all those pellets day in, day out, you know, just yeah. sorting them. Impressive focus. Impressive, yeah. yeah. But we've got uh, the quality controllers that have worked for us for 20 years already. So it's uh, some of them are very, very happy about the job sure. they get over there. Yeah. It's uh, well, it's not an easy job, that's for sure. But maybe for some of them it's better than to sit by the cashier in a, in a supermarket sure. and oh, to yeah. deal with all those uh, people yeah. that are sometimes rude and so on. Mm -hmm. Over there, they are. It's quiet. It's a good environment. It's a, well, it's a good team of people. Mm -hmm. They have good friends between each other. So it, I think, well, it would not be a work for me because uh, because of the eyes and because of uh, sitting eight eight hours oh, in one place. Oh, oh, I, I jump I would, out the window. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Too many pellets. It take four months to train them usually. Yeah, it, it, it usually takes them. Four months to get trained to get a proper uh, feel feel of the pellets right. and uh, the proper speed the and the proper skill. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah, I'm sure. the first month they can barely control uh, a couple of things within the, those eight hours, and they go. Right. Right. <laughs> it, the skills. Yeah. And how many employees? About uh, well, yeah. in total in yeah. JSB, 110. Okay. 110 employees. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And how many lines there are producing roughly? Uh, we have 80, 80 production lines. Right. But uh, on one machine, you can find four lines. So it's okay. in total, it would be like uh, 20 machines. Sure, sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. The older types included six pressing lines on one machine, but then we switched to four. Multiple, multiple station, automated uh, press for right. production, right. and okay. the machines were all designed by by us, by the actually by the by, by the company founder. Sure. And they are all built in house as well. They are they are not built somewhere else. We only order the parts. Some of sure. them are made in house. Some of them are. Uh, right delivered by or produced and delivered by our suppliers all of them are Czech from Czech Republic and uh, then we assemble the machine in the factory oh, yeah. millions a day well we certainly depend on <laughs> JSB pellets oh, yeah. you know for our air gun so oh, yeah. you know okay. yeah, faithful good stuff customers right here. Wow, okay. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. It was nice meeting you in person. <laughs> you know. Thanks for coming. <laughs> and, of course, hey, Richard. You bet. You bet. Thank you. See you around. You guys right. take care. Yeah. I got to talk yeah. to this guy right yeah. here. How you doing? How's it going, man? Okay, we have Joe, aka Monkey Dad, nineteen sixty nine. What the hell, man? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going, man? What's going on? What's going on? Sorry, I'm working. Okay, I'm not working anymore. <laughs> what do you want to know? Yes, the slugs are made of titanium. No, Cedric will not be shooting them at the moon. No. And um, three. I would say that, but I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> going on my YouTube channel. I know that. I was gonna say something I shouldn't say. Oh, Mr. Brown. Now, uh, for some reason you look familiar, but I'm not quite sure. You got a YouTube channel or anything? Huh? Too fast for you? Yeah. YouTube? Yeah. yeah. Custom okay. builds, long distance shooting, all that. What? Hey, okay. Yeah. You need to go on my channel. I think I subscribed okay. to yours. Which, which, which channel? Air Gun Reviews and Hunting Channel. You sure I'm not subscribed to you? I might be. I, I'm going to have to look. Okay. I'll, you I'll know what? Look. Let me have to look. <laughs> Let me go put it in my phone right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joe. 
you know, I know tonight's a big night. You're talking about going to this, uh, what is the name of that place? Uh, the Heart Attack Grill. The Heart Attack Grill. I'm going to watch you someone know. get their ass beat tonight. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> it's going to happen. It ain't going to be me. I'm smart. I, I get the one patty. <laughs> I'm smart. And then I don't get the chili on there because I don't want to die. <laughs> well, I don't know about eating there tonight, but I might stop by and say hello because I, I can't do that heart attack stuff. Man. I'm an old man. I'm an old man, too. I'm an old man. I'm I got rheumatoid arthritis. <laughs> and my finger's always like this. That's why I don't shoot a lot. And you, look, you can't get that in a trigger, man. <laughs> now, if he does it around the trigger, you, you know, it might go off. But, hell, I shot something. <laughs> It was good. Well, it was very good. We plan to go on Fremont Street, right? They only have a bunch of restaurants on there. Oh, yeah, yeah, down on uh, Fremont. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, experience. Aaron's on Fremont. Yeah. I tell you what, Joe. Yesterday, I was wiped out. <laughs> but I didn't get a chance. We didn't get a chance to go on the second floor yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bones, yeah. Well, I told you not. I told you it's overwhelming. Your first day, first oh, week, man. first time. Yeah, you'll learn. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's what we gotta do now. We gotta hurry up and get upstairs and get to where yeah. we gotta see, and you know. Good enough. Yep. Peace. Yeah, there you go. All right. All right. There you go. Yep, yep. Knockout slug right there. Yeah, someone's getting knocked <laughs> out. Sweet. Someone's getting knocked out. Right. Okay, SG, here's your boy. Oh, forget SG, man. <laughs> <laughs> Southern Gunner, let, 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 let us say what we think about Southern Gunner. Yeah. Uh, some of them. Uh -huh. Shut the hell up. Yeah. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Let's talk turkey, turkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, What's your channel again? Huh? What's your channel? Uh, Air Gun Reviews and Hunting Channel. Glass. Yeah, but anyways, hey, meeting all these yep. people out here in the shot show was exciting. Overwhelming, huh? Y'all here? Yeah, it's a lot. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, okay. Right. We gotta get upstairs. Alright, yeah, yeah, we, we got so we, we, we didn't even get hit upstairs yesterday. So yeah. Yesterday is ground floor, today's upstairs. Yeah. So. I came in yeah. and I don't know, I think I got here at two thirty, three o'clock. Yeah. And I was trying to come straight here to meet these guys and Just then find it. I got called in somewhere else, so I like kinda went through the front door, came in here, then got a call made a U turn, yeah. had to go back upstairs, <laughs> yeah. I'm like and yeah. I got standing like everybody came over there, and I was like, hey, hey, yeah. hey. <laughs> like it's like that. Yeah. yeah so you, you're looking at like <laughs> in, in two hours, I've only seen two two booths. Right. Because right. you're standing at one booth just right. talking for like an hour. Right. But that's how it is. It's like a big reunion. Yeah. So I, yeah, am, yeah, yeah. I am subscribed right now. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. And then obviously that's it, right? Yep. That's it. That's it. Subscribe. Get the alarm. Call. <laughs> Done. All right. And I'll play catch up. <laughs> <laughs> I want to come out to Colorado and shoot with this guy. No, you don't. Oh, <laughs> Prairie dog. Oh, I want to do some <laughs> long, long distance. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. Fun? 200 yeah. yard dogs. Yeah. Oh, I imagine it is, man. Well, I tell you, when you get out there and you have an air gun, it's a real test of what you can do. It looks easy on video, but it's not. One really? Of, yeah. One of the biggest things is because the land is flat, yeah. your range finder has a hard time reading ranges accurately. So what you might see 170 is really 192. And you'll keep shooting right in front of him. You're like, what am I doing? It's 170, but he's actually at 192 because the ground is flat and you don't see the little... And oh. he's standing in one of those. So you're reading... Oh, yeah, okay. If Jason is out there shooting with you, then you don't get a chance to shoot because he ain't shot in the butt five times. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> He's done it. Yeah. Yeah. You think you like that one? <laughs> no, he will not. And Arizona's the same way. Arizona's the same way. Really? Yeah, because the just the way the terrain goes. So you need a really accurate range find, and then you have to, once you get past 200, it's hard to read. Anything two, two and in, it's a little easier because I went out with him, and it was... It was challenging. My first time going to Colorado, I was like, why can't I can't hear anything. And it was after the trip that I realized it's my range finder. I can't, it's not the range finder, you just can't read the terrain because it's flat. Okay. And it's all one color. All right, so what's the what's the best range finder you can get then? Uh, to, there isn't. Yeah, there is. Unfortunately, yeah. range finders, yeah. you buy yeah. for yeah. Buy yeah. They yeah. get what you pay for. Yeah. Right. Um, Rudolph down there, the uh, 
couple of um, stands now, boost now. Yeah, we were there yesterday. That's a little, 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 little brainstorm about like that. And I was messing with it here in the last couple of years, and I was tagging people on the back of the heads. And that, it stretches way down there, 100 yards, 200 yards, hitting people on the back of their head. Rudolph. And that thing is, that thing Yeah, is Rudolph's a real good. It was actually, like actually it was priced for a reason. They have binoculars, they did the same thing too. Range finding binoculars. It's probably the best way to go. It's, yeah, I think Rudolph is military. Yeah. I think they kind of supply to military. They're in they're Texas. Hmm. Yeah, they're really good. The small one, was it test you your. No, there's so many ones. Yeah. 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 Did they have one on the, on the display? They have one on display. I don't know where it's at That's now. Yeah. I might want to ask them, but it might have yeah. to pull down. Okay. All right. Yeah, the trick is to get high ground. No what? High ground, right. get on top of the hill. Anything oh, okay. and point down, you get better readings out there. Okay. When you're flat like this and you're yeah. shooting out 200 yards. Yeah, the more narrow the beam you can get, the better because it'll pick up a twig, especially where I shoot. You pick up a bush. <laughs> yeah, you really got to practice it. At two, like I tell a lot of guys, when you're even shooting slug, catch bullets, yeah. 200 yards, the wind is affecting that bullet slug way more than it is at 150 yards. So okay. it seems easy. Yeah. If you're not out there doing it and you just go to do it, you'll get frustrated. Yeah, you get much more large out there. Oh, especially in the, yeah, in the summer. You know what will help that a whole lot? When you knock out slugs coming out, <laughs> will help that a whole lot. So you guys out there, make sure you buy your knockout slugs. I guess that was a, a hit when is, right there. Take one. <laughs> take one. You should have waited until I did the take and then right. Okay, so when is the knockout slugs coming out? Sorry. Knockout when slugs the coming out. back there. Uh, when are they coming out? We hope to have them within three weeks. The first, uh, the, the 22s will come out. 22s? And then, and then the 25s and the 30s okay. will be out uh, March to May sometime. Okay. They'll come out. They're in 216 right now. They'll be out in 217 also. And 250. And 250s. Okay. There's some tight barrels out there. I'll have to get with you on I gotta figure out. I got a uh, cricket. I don't know if uh, this the barrel shoot. is the 216s. 216? Okay. And then we're gonna have the GTO slug, which is lead. Sorry? We're gonna have a GTO slug, which is a lead frame. Oh, okay. Okay. When is that coming out? Almost immediately. As soon as we get back, we'll order it. They're gonna make it, so we're looking at two months. Okay. Got some exclusive, right? Slow. That's five dollars right there for just to have <laughs> put yeah, the yellow put that on it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get all this. The, this, this air gun stuff is advancing so rapidly. Yeah. You, got, you got the exclusive, so there you go. You're the first one. Yeah, you first one. All first right. one. <laughs> if you don't do us right, you see this poly mag? I have a gun that will shoot this at you, <laughs> <laughs> and it will reach. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You know, Walmart's getting rid of all their air gun stuff. Pistols right now, it's not rifles. Uh, boom racks is still on No, I, I don't, yeah, they're just getting rid of everything. Anything to do with air guns, pellets, all that. It also depends on Walmart, too. Like, all the Walmarts are getting rid of, um, there's a, actually, there's a couple of Walmarts that actually sell handguns. The last was one of them. They got rid of them. And then they get, they get rid of all their, their AR stuff. Yeah. And they get rid of all their AR ammo and pistol ammo. Then they get rid of their, their Right now, most of Walmart's are getting rid of, rid of all their air pistols. Right now, the rifles are okay. But we don't know how, how long Walmart's going to do that. Well, at least our particular Walmart, pellets are very non-existent. Guns is hardly yeah, anything left. Michigan, yeah, and that's so, why I put in a plug. Out. Go to Pyramid Air and buy three, get one free. Right. <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, Tyler, you owe me a buck. Right. Okay. Uh, I need to go back and see if, there, if there's any more of those Gamma red fires. <laughs> Dick, he said yeah, Gamma. Yeah, he what? said the, what's that? He said Gamma. Yeah. No, no, we're, we're a horse. No. I did see some there. They were, they were just. Yeah, that's what they're supposed to see. So we'll see them there and go, well, yeah, I don't right. shoot those. Right. Yeah, you know, I dare you guys yeah. even put this in my presence. I do. Yeah. You should have you should have knocked the glass in, yeah. knocked it in, broke the glass, kicked it over, yeah. and told the manager, I did you a favor and walked out. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's pretty bad. Then go to a new Walmart. Yeah, that's that's Walmart. pretty bad when they when they copy uh, the uh, polymax like that. That's pretty yeah. bad. 
<laughs> Someone's got to follow someone, right? <laughs> you guys have a badge? Vote for me. 2020. Yeah. 2020, vote for me. Vote for Joe. Yeah. Vote for Sandra. <laughs> vote for Joe. It are all these selfies, 2020. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, Joe. Put you on the, you on the pick. Uh, and Cedric. Cedric. Yeah. Nice, nice meet meeting you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> we got to get going. Yeah. 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 What air guns do you have? Huh? What air guns do you shoot? Oh, yeah, I, 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 I got it. He's got it. I've got a range of air guns. You wouldn't believe it. I'm like SG. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. SG's got way more than I got. Yeah, he's got <laughs> more than you. Have, you have way more interesting than I think he has right now. <laughs> Who? You. Oh. You have rifles we can't get. Yeah. I, I'm uh, way into it right now. You should sell some of those. Sell them? Nah, he says he doesn't sell them. Everyone heard he's selling them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can check that out. I'll check your channel. Okay. Sure. All right. All right. Good talking to you, folks. All right. All right. You too. All right. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Very nice. So where is it? How is it loaded? I don't see it. Where's the loading port? Where's the loading port? What are you loading? Oh, for the fair enough. Oh, for the fair enough. Okay. Can you can I discharge? Oh, you can. You can't just shoot. Oh, that's the safety. Yeah. Safety is down. First stage. Mix. Turkish company here it makes PCPs. Mark, say hello. Wave at the camera. Wave at the camera. Sure. Okay. Alright, let's let the camera. Yeah, he's got the YouTube channel. Okay, so so what do you have? Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Interchangeable caliber. Okay, sweet. 4.5, 5.5, and 6.35. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. And then has a regulator, adjustable bump pad, adjustable power, adjustable trigger, removable air tank, and you can change the cooking lever two way, right side or left side. Wow. Yeah. Is okay. that highest? Level. Okay. Yeah. Who's the distributor for the U.S.? U.S. We have the new. Uh, hopefully, will be ready in soon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So 2020. Yeah, in 2020. Okay. 2021. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Who's gonna be the distributor? You have any idea? Who's gonna? So we'll be Pyramid Air. Pyramid Air? Yeah. Okay. You, see, you're the representative or you're the yeah. owner of the company or yeah. owner? I'm no, no, I'm expert manager. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, just wondering because it's got some nice uh, guns here. Yeah. So. Very nice. Think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. And and what calibers are the others? And so the others is uh, now 4.5. 5.5 okay. and sure. 6.35. But okay. uh, in soon, uh, we are our, in our project now. Uh, we have a 9mm and 11. Okay, yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. It'll be in soon. Okay, and regulated these guns? Or? We have just for this model now. Okay, right. But uh, on the EVA, on the March, sure. uh, we will attending to this year to EVA with five new models. Oh, wow. Yeah. So okay. Are all these regulated or oh, just no, this just, one? Yeah, the, oh, yeah, on that one. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. All right. Sweet. So more at Eva. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Eva will be ready and for us. Can you okay. tell me more? Are they bull pups or long guns? Or? Yes. Bull okay. pup and bow, he still okay. will be in there. Yeah. Okay. Right. Mark, pick up one of those uh, sure. guns. Just sure. Wow. Does it come with a single shot tray? Yeah. Okay, and, okay, and how, how many, well, it depends caliber. How many? Yes, it's still yeah. different for the 4.5, 12. Okay. Is, okay, who makes the barrels? Your own barrels. Your own yeah, barrels? Yeah. So, yeah, integrated facility. 
Sure. Yeah, we are producing all parts. Okay. Yeah. For, for, parts for both are, the yeah. shotgun and the Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah sure. It's really sure. It's really yeah. Cool. Integrated facility. Okay. Choke? It's a choke barrel? Yeah. Okay. Mark, can you... Can you uh, sure. I want to... Sure. Hey, do you want to see this wanna, one? Yeah, so I've been interested in that throne. Well, I guess you can. Sure. Here we go. There we go. Uh, yeah. All right. Here's the camera. Okay. Look at this baby here. Can you grab it? Travis, owner of GTA, and owner of Jefferson State Air Rifles. That's the first question I got this. How many shots? This is a 25. 60 shots on the It also has adjustments on it too. Um, this pin right here can be adjusted to give you how much engagement you want on the front cover. This can be adjusted on the front and back. There's a set screw on how much tension you want on, on the on the drag. And then there's settings also, three different settings for wheel pressure for uh, your mag feet. So a lot of adjustments just even on the magazine. Wow. Okay, so it's two, two mag holder. Two mag holder on the mini. It's got a five-way adjustable trigger, two-stage, uh, side lever action, obviously, until that trigger for you. How long a waiting list? Uh, right now it's about ten weeks. Ten weeks. That could be could be shorter in the near future. So we're ramping up production right now. Okay, so what is it, deposit? Uh, you can pay in full or part, 50% deposit. This is a full, I'll show you something here that you want to see with another airbag. This is a fully tensioned barrel system. See how, see how the barrel doesn't sag? Hmm. How stiff it is? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't hit the bottom or the whole weight. Yeah, so people see all that barrel hanging out there. Oh man, it's going to flip all around. You can't move it. What kind of barrel is it? It's a TJ hammer on the barrel. Okay, is it choke? Non choke? Non choke. Then I'm going to choke. It has about 20 you can have. So you can put whatever LBC you want in. It's got a nice big strip right here. This is all shrouded. It's extremely wide. Okay, what's the brand? What's the uh, uh, Well, there's, it depends on what barrel. There's a lot of different barrels, so there's a lot of different. Get it, what count? 177 through uh, So, can you change the barrel? Yeah, so right there, there's a set screw to pull the probe out. Okay. And then, and then those two, three screws come out, and you just slide the barrel out. That's it. It takes about a minute and a half. How much are the barrels? About 350 for the barrel of gold. Okay, per calorie. Per calorie. This is a this is a Raptor Mini. Yeah. Very nice. Very light. As you can see, yes. Weighs hardly anything. Then of course the butt stock has all kinds of adjustments. Uh, we do have our entry level gun to the hawk. This is a really nice gun, under 500 bucks. So 
under 500 bucks, side lever action, two stage trigger, adjustable Barrel. seat rest. The barrels are made by Zizico, they're non choked also. Um, it's uh, got a 22 cubic inch bottle and it's regulated also. What's the accuracy on it? It's really accurate. Uh, we did a lot of testing uh, before we brought these out. They, they make the barrels to our specs. It also has a half 20 UNF stock, shrouded, baffled. You have these in stock? We have lots of these in stock right now. You can order them right there. Really? Yeah. Great well, stuff. Huh? We got crates of them. Crates of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have my own air uh, YouTube channel and okay, so featured this gun right here. Uh huh. I was telling uh, Tim. His name is Tim. But anyways, I worked with him on the game. Yeah. And I have, I know that's not a way to judge hackers. We're still at the Air Venturi booth and we have the Seneca, what is that model? Double? I'm sorry. Go ahead. What is that model? Double shot. Air shotgun. Seneca double shot shotgun. Look at that. Very nice. Pyramid Air has this. Now in stock. We are at the Air Venturi booth, and Mark is holding the Eagle Claw, Seneca Eagle Claw lever action. Mark, can you operate that lever? Does it? How, how easy is it? Easy? Yeah. Wow. There you go, Corey and Turkey. You, there's your Eagle Claw. You can buy it at Pyramid Air. Okay. Owner of Pyramid Air. Yeah. Okay, what Mark is holding right now is uh, Air Venturi. Avenger, I think it's Avenger. Yeah, Avenger. And it's available in 177, 22, and 25. Fully shrouded and has a, an external regular adjuster on the bottom there. External regular adjuster. It's, it's the same as the ATI Nova. Vista Liberty. Nova Vista, excuse me, Nova Vista. But anyways, it's fully shrouded. Its uh, price tag is $300 MSRP and it's on its way. 60 shots, that's what they're claiming. And I don't know what caliber that was. I think it was 25. Okay. And over here we got Matt Dubber. Okay. And you see the backside of Ted Holdover. This is uh, Diana Storm Rider Gen 2 Multi Shot MSRP 229. Then we have the pump action for all you pumpers out there. Air Venture Avenger. Oh, this, that's not the right one. Okay, never mind. Disregard that. But it's a called a butterfly. 
And then here's the gun that Mark always wish he had. MSRP of four thousand dollars, and this is uh, what is it called? A fin. Four thousand bucks. There's Mark's dream gun right there. Right, Mark? Right. Yeah. You want Santa to bring it to you next year yeah. or this dream year, right? On. Santa Claus yeah, to bring it to right. you? Yeah, dream oh. on. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful gun though. Beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Everybody knows who this guy is. Are you videoing? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Go on my channel. All right. Good stuff. Ted, hold over. Hey, go. <laughs> right here at Hot Sambu Chacho. Here is Hot Sambu's newest. Addition, the Hydra. You have to buy these extra barrels, but basically you just unscrew this back here. And the whole thing switches out. Whatever calorie you need. 177, 22, 25. Comes in a nice case. Barrels are extra. This is their new arrow gun. The Hydra Long arrow gun. Some whole stock. Wow. This it is very light. I mean, light. And QE. QE moderator. Boy, Hoss has really stepped up their game. They really uh, have lightened up their guns. I was really quite surprised that it came it was that light. Yeah. Does this come with the, the magazines when you buy the barrel? Yeah. How many magazines you get? Two? When you buy the barrel? Oh, the extra barrel? Yeah. I think it's... I don't know. I don't know that question. <laughs> yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Yeah. I, would, yeah, I think they can sell their oh, barrel and well, the magazine. Well, right. it, doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. They got, they got magazines for everything. Right, right. Or when you, when you get the barrel, they give you the magazine with it. Uh, I'd hope so. Yeah. yeah. Here's another uh, new addition. What? You want to grab this right here? It's their pile driver. Is that lighter? Yeah. No, not. I guess eight pounds. Yeah, it's hefty gun. Yeah. With the scope. Yeah. About eight yeah, pounds, you think? Yeah. So the Hydra will be available in March. More like a. Uh, Airgun Depot and Pyramid Air. That's a very nice gun. Wow. Okay. What was that? Right. That okay. was uh, a yes. pile driver. Hey, okay. Sorry, I'm going to grab that back down. I got distracted there, but so you have a cocking lever here, side lever. Yep. It's not reversible, but you got adjustable button. Uh, cheek rest, adjustable cheek rest here, adjustable butt pad. 
carbon fiber by, uh, bottle there. What is that? Probably 500 cc, 480 cc. I'm thinking that's where you uh, put your fill probe in that, or is mm -hmm. it filled down at the bottom? It's not, yeah. it's not regulated, so that would have to be regulated, but what do you think? You think this is a, for the lake? Mm. Right eight pounds? Uh, Seven, eight? Yeah. Yeah. Eight pounds? What did you get here last time? Okay, so what's up next? This is their Blitz, fully or semi-automatic. Look at that. Hot sound blitz. What do you think the weight is in that, Mark? No, maybe Mark? seven. It's not, it's not heavy. Yeah, but it doesn't have a scope on there either. Right, right. So it's scope dependent. Yeah. But it's semi-automatic. Okay. What else do we have up here? Pre-charged pneumatic. Oh, another. This is a harpoon, which would be uh, an arrow gun. This one up here. This is a uh, invader. Wow, okay. You got a magazine holder underneath. Underneath of that mark. It's not an adjustable butt pad, but adjustable cheek rest. This looks like it's uh, semi-automatic. It is semi-automatic. This is okay. And the next one underneath is one I was interested in, and that would be the neutron, the, the wood one there. Yep. Is that heavy? No, not at all. I don't know. Six and a half, seven. It's not a Got it. Here is the the neutron star. Or the Nova Star, but they call it the Neutron Star. You got magazine holder underneath. How many is that? Just oh, one, one magazine holder. Adjustable cheek rest. Beautiful Turkish walnut. Just a butt pad in the back. Carbon fiber bottle. Whatever 48.48 liters is. I think it's probably like 480 cc. Go ahead and cock that, Mark, and see if that's uh, how you, how you. No, it's real easy to cock. Yeah. That's, that's cocked already? No, it's real easy to cock, yeah. yeah nothing to it. Go ahead and cock it all the way and then, sure. uh, and, and then uh, got a quattro trigger. Yep. Sweet. Just uh, keep recording. It's sure. still recording, but just go ahead and I'm going to switch it over to me and have me hold, I'm going to hold it. Wow, this is really, really, really nice. It does feel like. It's not QE. It's not QE shrouded, so you have to uh, you have to uh, yeah. Okay. There's some more. There's a, oh, 
pick up that one there, uh, Mark, that Galatian. That feels heavy, don't it? No, no, really, it's not too bad. QE, cock, cock that and, uh, so. Let's go around the other side. I changed it to the, you know, from spring one to the hydraulic. Mark has the new Hassan Alpha. I have the the the, the older version. Oh, okay. A hot sun alpha, and then of course the VT65. Oh, they changed some. Oh, this is a side lever. Okay. Some people ended up having a hard time getting that cocking bolt all the way back. So side lever gives you a little bit more leverage there. I have the original BT65 QE. Now, is that something that I can switch to? Uh, I doubt it. Uh, the receivers are going to be cut a little bit different. Um, so you won't be able to just switch out parts uh, to make it a side bolt. Okay, that's what I was wondering if... Because uh, I also have the older the, the side bolt back at home. Hmm. Yeah, they still. I, I have this version, uh, 177, but I don't have uh, the sights on it. Gotcha. Yeah, the, the QES was new uh, last year for the ET44. So same, same gun, same system, just upgraded QB shroud with front sight and rear sight on the receiver. Yeah. So. Pump action. I, I did a review on, on my channel on that PA, and I got less than uh, dime grooves at 50 yards with this gun. Excellent. Good. On the bench. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I know people won't believe it, but yeah, I actually did it. You just got to find the right pellet. You do. You know. Some people just think that, you know, whatever pellet they are used to or their other guns are used to, some guns are a little picky. You just gotta find one it likes. Yeah, this one, for some reason, likes the 4.51 head size. Gotcha, okay. I don't know what caliber you have, but, you know, I got one, I got it in 177. Right. And then uh, I bought one of these, but of course it was not shrouded. Uh, what was that? The Cyber 40 sale you guys had? Right. AT44. I got it for like 117 ship. Yep. And, uh. Well, if you ever need a shroud for the do offer the QE upgrade kit. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was wondering about the, the Neutron Star. Yeah. That one, I can't get the QE system for that. Good night or, or not? Not for the Neutron Star. Oh, really? The, the Neutron Star and Nova Star are only available in non-QE. Okay. Um, 
However, the, the the barrel is still shrouded. It's just not any sound suppression in there. It's just not the QE shroud. Uh, but it does have the half by twenty threads, so you can put an aftermarket. So there's no way to convert that over to QE then? Unfortunately not for that gun. Ah. The, the shroud's needed there for barrel stabilization and uh, the Nova you can, the Nova Star has a slightly different barrel so it wouldn't work. So the gun, yeah, it just makes the gun a little bit longer and that's what I was trying to cut back on, the right. length exactly. of the gun, you know. And the QE shroud would add about five inches or so to the end of the barrel. Where, where is uh, Flash Pup? Flash Pups are right over here. You brought the Flash Pup wood and the Flash Pup synthetic. Okay, well. So all the Flash series guns are right here. Uh, the Flash Pup synthetic is going to be is currently available, but later this year it's also going to be available just like the BT-65 with a side bumper instead. Now can that be switched out? Also no. The, the, <laughs> side, the side lever is going to have the receiver cut up here uh, instead, so there's not really a way to switch out those parts. And this is coming from Shane from Hot Sun USA. That's me. I just did a review, uh, what was that, two weeks ago on this particular, I own this particular gun in 2.2. Okay, good. Optima 412 by 50. Okay. Yeah. Hail scope. Mm -hmm. I mounted it. I, it likes the 18 grain air arms. Okay. So I stuck with that. I was basically holding a hole at 50 yards. And I, went, I jumped over to 50 yard, or 100 yards. And I have a uh, spinning crow. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm a hunter, so I'm not bench rest. Well, I am a bench rest shooter, but guns like this is for hunting. Right. So I, I was constantly hitting that. And then uh, and some uh, clay pigeons were hitting that, so I knew where I was, the gun was accurate. Ac it's accurate at 100 yards. And then I took the, a scope. It was a junk scope anyway, so the eyepiece. I put it out on the wall at 100 yards. First shot, <laughs> it, it measured the circle of that eyepiece was an inch and a quarter. So I hit inside an inch and a quarter. At 100 yards? At 100 yards. Wow. This That's gun right here. I hit it three times <laughs> at 100 yards. Not regulated. Correct. I got a regulator for it. I'm going to regulate it. Okay. I'm going to yes. do a little. Port, pour it in inside there, but I'm going to regulate the I got a regular from Hume already. I just got to put it in, but. Gotcha. Okay. But I shot it right out of the box, clean the barrel. You know, of course, clean the barrel, but I shot it right out of the box. 100 yards and an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. That's yeah. impressive. Yeah, I, it's all on video on, on my YouTube channel. Like, I know people are like, they've seen it, like, oh, wait, yeah, watch it, man. I'm like hitting the scope. <laughs> the junk scope. So. Yeah. Good. Corey and Turkey, there's your uh, no, your Vectus. Yeah. Where is the other flash? The newer flash, you know, with the cutouts. Flash wood? Yeah. Uh, we did not bring the flash wood this time. Okay. We the flash pups and back instead. And okay. Obviously. Oh. The week before that, same. Uh, a friend of mine had a 25. The same scope I shot. I shot the front lens. Shot that the same scope. I shot the front lens at 100 yards, and I was hitting flipping birds. And his was a 25. Oh, I know all the flash. Right? After I did that, it's like, oh shit, guns wow. accurate. Good, good. So, huh? That's excellent. Yeah. Yeah. So. I have all these junk scopes, you know, at home that, you know, I was, hey, set them on the guard, why don't you just sit out and do a sniper shot? <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of them. Yeah, you know, a little holdover, man, hit the scope. <laughs> well, 
Thank you for the tour there of uh, Hot Sun Air Guns. There you go, Hot Sun USA. I'm real disappointed about the Neutron Star, man. You can't put a suppressor on there unless you put a, make the gun longer. I don't need a long gun. It's already long enough. It is. Uh, you can still get aftermarket suppressors for it. I know Donny FL makes some, some pretty good ones. Yeah, but you got screwed on the end of that barrel, which makes it even yeah, longer. Yeah. At least five or six inches. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Wow. The pile driver is an interesting gun. It is. Uh, it's a powerhouse. 800 foot pounds. 50 caliber. Oh, oh is, that, yeah. is that Is that what it is? Yeah, 50. 50. Right. right. Oh. Yeah. Well, let's go back to there because oh. I, I, I thought it was. Uh, is the 50, but it's going to be available in 45 and 50. 700 foot oh. pounds or so in 45, 800 foot pounds in 50. That's, an, that's impressive. Yeah, 34 millimeter breech area, so any sort of slug or ammo shorter than that, you can fit it in there. We, I think the largest slug we've got is 720 grain. Jeez. Okay, folks. We got to retract that when I first uh, showed you the gun. The uh, power driver is actually a 45 and 50 cal, just like Shane just said. Yep. That's impressive. Wow. What is that gun recount for? Any idea? Uh, 1199 retail. 1199, okay. Yeah, 480cc mark the back of the to 300 bar pressure, so that's about 4,100 PSI. Hmm. Okay. Cecil. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> hey, I've called you a couple times already. Do you got uh, my chance to bring me a hat? Yeah, I'd sit in my room. Can you come by tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, sure. I'll have it tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, you need to check out some of my reviews of that hot sounds I did. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta get on there. It's just been getting ready for the show and everything. I was telling Shane, uh, busy. telling Shane about your flash pup S, uh, hundred yard shots it was taken. I know it's not that impressive, but to me it is out of a gun, you know, right out of the box. Oh yeah, the flash pup S is. I mean, flash pup, flash pup S, basically the same gun, different stock. Uh, Rick Rim has been making long shots with that mm -hmm. sucker for a while now, so yeah, it'll do it. Um, I mean, the Hydra. Well, uh, same power is, level. When is this uh, available? This is going to be. This is on March April. Any idea on the price tag? Um, you're going to get the base rifle, which is the rifle in uh, one barrel, for under 400. Okay, one. Okay, you mean the rifle in one barrel, one one upper and barrel. You buy the individual barrel separately for uh, under 200 per barrel. Okay. So that's going to be our base rifle that was the issue we're bringing in. Um, you may see a retailer come out with the case and um, all the barrels uh, later on, but that'll be an exclusive time. Okay, so you basically buy one rifle and it comes with one rifle and one one yeah, barrel. One barrel. Well, the barrel that uh, goes on the Oh, right. okay, gotcha. You don't come with an extra barrel. That's what I was wondering. Yeah, no, okay. no, the, all right. the, the extra barrels are, are extra. Okay. Um, and then the uh, arrow attachment is going to run closer to that 250, 230, 250. Now, I'm surprised that Hot Sign uses the bolt action, especially when the, what they're, the Flash Pump S, they're getting ready to go to a lever later on, is what Shane is saying? Right, but the... Uh, you don't really don't have enough real estate here on this with the upper and lower receiver being. Oh, okay, here. okay. So basically, you just unscrew this, right? And yeah, all you do unscrew this, unscrew here. So it's not torque the barrel there. Oh, man, that was easy enough. Take the new barrel, stick it on there, screw it on, and the nice and thing will be just like this. Yeah. yeah. The nice thing is, is that um, unlike some of the other multi-caliber capable rifles, mm -hmm. um, they all 
as far as I know, they all you change the barrel. Right. And you the probe or something like that. Mm -hmm. But you have to re zero your scope whenever you change calibers. This way, you leave your scope, your optic, whatever, on your receiver so you don't have to re zero. Makes sense. So. Oh, yeah. So that way, all you have to do is change receivers. So you could sit there, you know. Take the 177 barrel out, go out and shoot a couple of pigeons in the morning, yeah. go out in the late morning, throw the 22 barrel on there, shoot a couple of rabbits, go out in the early afternoon, put the 25 barrel on there, shoot some squirrels, and then throw the arrow barrel on there right before sundown and shoot a deer. So you can buy the arrow barrel separate then? Yes. Yeah, that will be a separate. Oh, we may man. Do, we may do an arrow. Yeah, that's impressive. Uh, we may do a lower with the arrow barrel. Um, and it, of course, it's going to be a little bit more expensive because right. you know you're looking at a 250, 230 to 250 on this uh, on the barrel. Yeah. Now, I was talking to Shane about the, the BT65. You were talking about I have the older BT65, and now you guys are getting ready to come out with the. Oh, I see you get the lever on it now, a BT-65. On it? the carnival. Only on the carnival. Oh. The, the 177, 2225 is going to no, still be no. the same. They're still going to be the same. Oh, now. okay. Um, okay. It's just All a right. carnivore because we actually added more power. It's about 10 foot pounds. More power. Yeah. Wow. So. That's impressive. Now, when you buy the other barrel, obviously it will come with the magazines or is that gonna be separate? Right, two mags and a single shot trick. Okay, okay, yeah, that's a bubble. Yeah, that's okay. a yeah. bubble. Yeah, yeah, I recognize that. Wow, I, I, that's, and it's, com I guess Hassan must be listening, because it's, when I picked it up, it's really light. It is, yeah. Well, I mean, we, we, you know, we always listen. I mean, we, multi-caliber, you know, yeah. Option, um, lighter weight. Um, we, yeah. You know, we got a 800 plus foot pound 50 cal, um, full auto, um, semi auto that's a lot lighter than yeah. the ones before. Um, you know, so yeah, we listen. We we as quickly as we can, we transition over to try to so improve the products. Wow, very impressive. Uh, this is a. Uh, Pile driver. Yeah, that's the pile driver. That's our 50, 45 or 50 caliber. Um, 50 caliber. No, wait, that's not the pile driver. That's the uh, left. I'm sorry. That's the full driver. The pile driver is the pile driver. Oh, man. So, I mean, you can watch on the video here. It shows that uh, Curtis Austin firing it. Um, <laughs> I mean, it'll be available in 22, 25, and 30 cal. Um, I believe first it'll be available in 30 cal. Now, uh, see, so are you going to be down to Pyramid Air Cup again this year? I'm going to try to make it. We'll see if I if I'm able to make it. Uh, well, I'm kind of making the big rubs, being responsible and everything. You can't make it to everything you want. I know. Uh, yeah. But yeah, you got the selector lever on there, semi to full auto. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, uh, cyclic rate is right about a thousand rounds per minute. Um, it only has a 16 round magazine and 30 cal, but it jumps to 30 or 16 round magazine and 30 cal in about 0.6 seconds. <laughs> wow, that's that's impressive. All right. And then this is the uh, video for the file over here. Oh, okay. Starts, it's got uh, the promo that I did a little while back, um, and these, these, this is me hunting deer. Um, and of course, I have a dog myself. So right. So we don't do a suppressor on it, but I mean, they're aftermarket is there for it. <laughs> so I've been working with Donnie to get him set up, so he's ready. That's got that's got some kick to it. Well, seven hundred plus over seven hundred foot pounds. I mean, it just rolled that deer over backwards. So that was a decent sized doe for Arkansas. And Good this shot. One here was less than two minutes from that last one. This one came. Out.
So that goes on the right, and then the second one is on the left. Now, I've that is impressive. Yeah, that deer weight about 10 yards. Hot Sun Power Driver. You yeah. saw the video, folks. And then uh, <laughs> next up is uh, Jim Chapman's video, something with about 45 pounds. Hmm. <laughs> that gun right there. That's impressive. Out of air gun. How many shots? In 45, you're going to get six to seven shots at okay. hunting power. Um, in 50 cal, you're about five. Okay. Yeah, so Chapman just drops, straight drops this dough right here. I mean, one gun. You just totally hit the off switch. He got that nice high shoulder shot, hit yep. that nerve bundle, and yep. just like that. That's a powerful job. <laughs> yeah, see, in this video, it doesn't show it, but if you watch Chapman's video on his channel, American Air Gun Hunter, mm -hmm. that Havelina, he shot it, and you can see, he slows it down, slows it down, and you can see the slug going towards it, hitting it, and then going through it and bouncing the ricochet mm. off the rock behind it. <laughs> and people, a lot of people just think these air guns are just... Yeah, baby guns. Yeah, baby yeah. guns. Oh, <laughs> you know, they, just don't, they just don't understand. Oh, wow. Okay, Cecil, right. thank you very much. Yep. All Thanks right. for coming by. <laughs> Come again tomorrow, yeah. and I'll have your hat for you. We're at Crowl Arms. There's a puncher knight. Available at 177-2225. You get the interchangeable barrels and the magazine separately. Then you got the Crowl Bighorn. 30 caliber. Longer cylinder. Non regulated. All of these are non regulated. Then you have the crowd. Then you have the crowd. Super jumbo. longer air cylinder but you can also add the aftermarket Alatros regulator to these the bell in 177 22 and 25 there's your crowd puncher breaker beautiful wood also available in 177 Two 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 five. Non regulated. You have the jumbo dazzle. All camouflaged out. That's a power adjuster and all the models I've shown you. Except for one up top, the big horn. Does not have a power adjuster. Does this gun look familiar, boys? It looks like an Air Force gun. Hmm? Oh, it's it looks like Air Force. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Air Force what? Very interesting. And then we got the MP500, which is kind of unique. It's like a tactical look to it. 
power adjuster. This is available, this is in 2-2. Two -two. Is this available in 177? Yeah. yeah. 177. And 2-2 and 2-5. Also non-regulated. No suppressor. There you go, from the crowd booth. You got the one above it, uh, oh, the big horn. This is uh, Puncher MP01 compact. Reporting live from the SHOT Show 2020 with my friend Mark King by my side. So, this is Air Arms. Newest this is model. the one that will be the yeah. replacement for the FTP 900. Yeah. This is the model XTI-15, field target rifle. Okay. Oh, Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Oh, sweet. Yeah, you got the level and the indicator. Basically, this rifle has been designed We've had an awful lot of input from our uh, field target shooters. So we met with about 20 of our field target shooters about three years ago. They gave us their input. We developed a prototype. They field tested those, came back, we took all that feedback on board and then developed another two prototypes. And then as I say, we took it to the World Championships and we got feedback from our international shooters and here we are. It's <laughs> great. So final yeah. prototype, we're hoping. Yeah, great. Everything in there are the FT shoes. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who dreamt that, huh? But, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the hamster in that shoe? No. So okay. if you yeah, press this button down. here. Oh. Oh, how easy is that? Oh, man. Right. So Look at right. that. Yeah, yeah, totally easy. When, yeah. the, when you press the button in, you have... Oh, yeah, all that adjustment. Two, yeah, this. both up and down and swivel. Right. So when you've got those high shots yeah. and those oh, yeah. leaders. No, yeah, how easy is that? No, no, that's... that's you're making it uh, too okay. easy for us. And also, um, in right. here is right. an anti-recoil device. Oh, so sweet. if you pull this back, mm -hmm. it's a stabilizer. Oh, yeah. You've got a small adjustment there. So as you know, when you fire a pellet, there's a rush of air that comes oh, yeah. back down the barrel. And this adjustment here, depending on the weight of pellet that you're using, can control that airflow. Sweet. So it makes it super efficient. And this air stripper is that is phenomenal. It is so efficient, it's crazy. But it's got a it's a titanium cylinder sure. and there's a titanium cone. Sure. Okay. Just to oh, yeah. help with the weight. Yeah. Yeah. And what's the weight? Do you know? Uh, it's about 4.3. Okay. Okay. Something sure. like that. Sure. Yeah. Feels about there. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. Right. Around it's that. 4. Yeah. 4. And something. with the scope, it's. But gonna, it's about 400 yeah. grams lighter than the FTP. Right. Okay. Well, that's nice. So is this uh, great? Yeah. This is still. Uh, being manufactured, or is it? It's still a prototype. Right. Uh, we're just waiting for feedback on the uh, field testing. I mean, our bench testing results were out of this world. It, mm -hmm. The performance was amazing, but of course that's not real life. So we've got one out in the field. It'll be out there for a couple of weeks, and they'll be really pushing it to her to her limits. And okay. Get okay. the feedback from that. Okay. Making. So this summer, Christmas. Uh, it's not going to be available probably until the latter part of this year. Okay. Last part of when? Last part of this year. Okay, so okay. Late yeah. summer. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah. We're all <laughs> salivating. Yeah. Well, I can't so, believe oh, yeah. the number of views yeah. that it's had on uh, the American air gun because we, we showcased it on Tuesday and um, our social media department telling us it's gone viral. It's gone absolutely crazy, which is brilliant. Oh, that's a beautiful gun. Now, do you make it? In, I'm left-handed, so do you make it? Uh, 
left handed yeah. version. We will be making the left handed stock. The cocking won't be left because of this issue right. here. Right, right. So, but um, this will be on the left hand yes. side. Right. Obviously, the wind indicator is ambidextrous sure. anyway, sure. and okay. the stock will be yeah. left handed. Wow. Alright, right. very nice. nice. Yep. Left to right. Yeah. On the, yeah, the, the way for sure. the cant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course, that makes it easier just to fold back when you've got to put it back in your bag. Sure. Thinking ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I mean, yeah. that is absolutely. Man, look at that. So hmm. much thought has gone into this rifle. It's, it's just been oh yeah. And no, because we're demanding shooters. So. Well, and the attention yeah. to detail as well. I think that right. just you know just again reinforces air arms uh, attention to detail and the quality and the engineering in it is just oh you know, it's very evident by just looking at it can you ask how long you've been working yes on now three, well, years. Like three years three years the whole project started right three years ago. yeah i believe it yeah so i think because unusually so we've had so much input from shooters that at every stage right. we've taken on board right. their comments and their feedback and Super. We're waiting. <laughs> okay. All right, no, I'm pretty good. Yes, very very good. What do you think of that laminate? Because we haven't decided uh, on the laminate. Looks good to me. Yeah. Um, no, and it's, yeah. it's, it's distinctive. So well, it, it's going to come in different well, colors or just. The standard model, actually, mm -hmm. we're thinking. We haven't made any decisions yet because we're still throwing it out there and okay. getting people's opinions. but. Uh, the standard one we're thinking, oh my god, it's beautiful. It's a black laminate stock, but it's got a pearlescent finish on it. Mm -hmm. So, it, against all this black, it looks gorgeous. Um, but we might, pro we probably will do a few limited runs on, on this on color options. Oh, well. yes, that would be no, I for, for me, not too much bling, but no, oh, this, this is very pretty. This one. But the great thing also is, uh, We've been gathering a lot of feedback and we've been listening and unlike in, on our previous uh, field target rifles, mm -hmm. we will be offering action only and uh, all of these, the but this hamster and the butt hook mm -hmm. and the rail, that will all be uh, available as separate items as well. So you can build, I mean, because a lot of FT shooters have bespoke stocks made yeah. and sometimes they carry a second action as well as backup. Um, so we thought well, we'd try and assist them with the costings and offer it all as se separate items as well. Can you get one made to order? What, a stock? R yes. Uh, uh, um, not a bespoke stock, man. No. We don't do bespoke stocks. Mm -hmm. Alright, not this. Yeah, I like it as it is. Uh, yeah. We are really, I mean, we were saying, we're not, I'm not an orange person, but I think just works, it doesn't it? It works. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, and, and to me, I, I wouldn't want it so bright that, I don't know, any glare or anything would be yeah. coming up off of it. But, uh, yeah. What do you think of the weights? Great, and yeah, and it's it's not, and it's, I, I like the weight out front myself. Yeah, and instead of having it all back towards me, I, I like the steadiness. And, yeah, when the weight's out there somewhere. And so you've also... got a very small round here to add more weight if you wish. Right. Okay, great. Great. No, no, it, it's cool. Yeah, great. Yeah, there's nothing to it. And the balance is... Yeah. No, excuse me, I'm not to win. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. to be clear. Yeah, not, not that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, like... No, it's not in fun. our club, he's pretty good uh, yeah. field target shooter, so... <laughs> I have sure. to give it to him. Have you got hold of it? Of course. I'm just going to of course. Um, release this hamster. Oh, because the great thing sure, about it sure. as well yeah, yeah. Okay, is okay. without okay. doing anything, you've got yourself a bench press gun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, didn't think of that. Yeah. So, okay. Oh, no special stock one. required. Yeah. It's all built in. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Huh. Making a hit. Thinking ahead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now you have me thinking. <laughs> yeah, because we do bench rest in our area. I mean, it's, aerial, it's, so, not, it's yeah. not ideal for extreme bench rest because it's a yeah. mm -hmm. Right, seven, right. Seven, right. Seven, oh, yeah, yeah. We, we do the 25 meter. It follows the WFTC requirements. Sure. sure. Lord, that's a beautiful guy. I couldn't wait to see it in person. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, no, I'm glad it stops. Sure. Absolutely. Thank you for stopping All right. by. Sure, sure. You know what? I want to have both of you in the, in the oh picture. I got all right. it. All right. Here, here. We'll, we'll get, we'll get all. All right. Sheila, all, all of you. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Say something, Mark. Hey. All right. you know. <laughs> That's the new Air Arms Field Target gun coming out later this year. Okay. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I'll let you, uh, I don't want to scratch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. Okay. Any, any idea, Claire, on the MSRP on this? Um, we don't know yet, because right. obviously we've not got to the production run, mm -hmm. um, and we've got to check out times and, and everything. But, I, I mean, in truth, it's going to be, but I don't know. 2200 something like that but it's yeah. not the price you pay it's the value you right. get right exactly <laughs> this there you go, Mark. Uh, there you go. No, no. Look, I, mean, I know you. I know you were looking. I, 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 I should ask if you're taking pre-orders. You, you should. You know, imagine if you had to buy all these accessories right. oh, separately, yeah. no, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think that, so long, that hamster yeah. alone, if you was to buy that, would be oh, yeah. what 300 yeah. 300 yeah. pounds, yeah. about 200 oh, yeah. quid. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not? Are you are you pre-orders now? We're not taking any orders because we don't want to disappoint people um, and we don't want to give false dates and we don't and and in truth we don't want to feel under pressure mm -hmm. to get the rifle out before we're ready it, okay. it needs to be yeah. right no no i'll wait yeah. okay <laughs> it gives you time to save right there you go <laughs> are you going to be at uh, pyramid cup this year i don't when is it in august it's in august yeah you see we've got the world championships in august haven't we and um it might be difficult for the guys to get so much time sure. off in August. Sure. Um, but if we can fit it in, oh sure, those boys want to retain their time. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> so your shooter, well he, he uh, who's that? Uh, Jack Harris. Oh, yeah. Is that yeah. is yeah. Name yeah. Jack? Jack, Jack was, Jack has been yeah. very oh, instrumental yeah. in the design oh, of this yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Who else? I, 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 yeah. uh, it's going to take a lot to get him away from that EV of his. Because that EV was, is like what, 14 years old, yeah, and it's like an extension right. of his right arm, isn't right. it? So um, it will be interesting. If Jack puts his EV down and picks okay. that up, then we know we're on to So all the pressure's on Jack. Oh, yeah, <laughs> sweet. But he's been very heavily uh, involved in the design. Yeah, the design. I don't know if you know Andy Calpin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah true. Uh, Don, Dos Falkner, Simon oh, Evans. Really? No, 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 no. Him. Oh, wow. Justin Wood. Really? They've all okay. been involved. Uh, do you know Frank Esser from Germany? He's had, okay. he's had some input in okay. it. So, all right, sweet. Yeah, a lot of people have had, um, yeah. had a lot of input into right. that gun. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. It's, it's been a it's been an enjoyable journey. Yeah, and, and finally seeing the fruits after three years to, to have it out. Well, um, Simon Evans is field testing it at the moment, and mm -hmm. he got it out the box first thing yesterday morning. He completed the course at his club, which is a four two shot course. And he dropped three. He said, "That's my personal best." <laughs> <laughs> okay, he well, said, "I'm not giving it. I'm not giving yeah. it back." Yeah, with a brand new gun, like <laughs> with a brand yeah. straight out of the box, right. and right. no weighing and measuring of pellets, just pellets. Yeah. So that's really reassuring. And, um, I know there's a few things that have come back and we've got to look at, which is why I'm saying you know, this is still a prototype mm -hmm. stage. Yeah. Claire is the owner of Air Arms.
Have a power adjuster on this? This is the standard power one, so there's no power adjustment. On the high power, it would be the same. Yeah, yes. okay. Yeah, with the so, okay. Hmm. Galahad, is S means for low power, or is it? Yeah, it means standard power, yeah. So it's UK spec. Hmm, how easy to cock is. I was always curious about these. Just like that? Ah, okay. Oh. Okay. And that can be transferred to the opposite side as well, so it's um, just left and right. Oh, you can put it on the other side. Oh, oh. Can you adjust the position of this in any no, configuration? It's only, only one. Okay. Since I'm a left-handed shooter, I would want the lever on the opposite side. But yes. Wow. Hey, have you been selling a lot of these? A bit of a niche market. We do sell quite a lot of those into the U.S. Yes. In the, oh, in the U.S. Okay. Now I have just a standard 510 XS. This, it's just a, a great shooter. You got any cards? Nope. Cards? You might, you might want to order yours, maybe Claire can sign it for you. All right, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, get, get the whole design team on it, you know, like a, you know, like yeah. a racing car or something, yeah. yeah. With love, shall I just yeah, yeah. with love? No, no, with love from just, Claire, uh, kiss, no, kiss. Yeah, with love from Claire, right there. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that would be uh, too much. Yeah. <laughs> 
no, no, no. I'd be distracted every shot. I'd be distracted every shot. Oh my god. All right, <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> it's the problem, you know, it's not, you know. I mean, I did bring it to for the interview on TV. They did it. American Air Guns did it, but it was like we have Joe Bracaro. Air guns, air tanks for sale. Trunk sales. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he has in his possession. And now you. The Broya. Sure. Sapson. Wow. And this is in what caliber? Two two? No, uh, that's two five. We have two five. Two, 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 five. Wow. And the and the barrel kits are coming in for uh, sweet for uh, twenty two and twenty five as well. Mm -hmm. So you can swap the calibers for like under two hundred bucks. But that's it. I'll just put that on. Right. Like that yeah, yeah. And that's this is the uh, suppressor that comes with the gun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, leather pad there. For your yeah, yeah kind of yeah, nice. Secret. Yeah, yeah they, 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 they yeah. did that up nice. External regulator yeah. here. Externally, uh, nice. up and down. Um, let's see what else. Uh, interchangeable barrels. Oh. Uh, let's see what else. Um, 300 cc barrel, uh, 300 okay. cc uh, wow. tube with 300 PS, uh, 300 bar. So that's like 4350, 4500 if you want. Right. Uh, let's see what else. Um, 10 shots in 22 caliber and set 177 and eight shots in uh, 25 caliber. Sure. Picatinny rail. Oh yeah. yeah. And the forward cocking is what I like. Yes. yes. Is that the, the handle adjustable from left to right or? Okay, so good question. I didn't want to say this, but yeah. So what I told uh, Zabroy, I was like, guys, all you got to do is make this little notch right here and here Make it here and here, and they're, uh, so they're gonna we're gonna redo those. So. Okay. Yeah. Coming. Yeah, yeah that's coming. That'll okay. be forthcoming. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. So it will be left hand, uh, uh, left hand, uh, very shortly. Right. External hammer spring adjuster. Right here. Okay. Right there. Oh wow. Use these oh okay. Yeah. Uh, use an Allen wrench. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Most of them are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because right. I have the Zebroya. Kozak compact yeah. Yeah, and 177, and it's, in, it's in the back, yes. Yeah, well, this that's is fine. a completely different gun. Mm -hmm. I, like, yeah, it's completely different. It really mm -hmm. is, because the regulator's back here, whereas on the Kozak, the regulator's here. Mm -hmm. It's it's a completely re redesigned gun. But I'll tell you, you know what the accuracy is like on those Kozaks, man. I did one in a one, I had one in a 177, and I did a 50-yard group, and it was less than 2.5. At 50 quarter yards. Nice. Well, less than a quarter. Wow. That's nice. amazing. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. I was stacking them. Bro. Anything you want to see about it? I'm not sure if it's $11.99 or $12.99. Yeah, I think it's $12.99 on the price, man. Yeah, I'm not sure. $12.99? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm not that's... sure. I got to look up my price list. Because right. like I said, right. we just got them in. Sure. And sure. I'm not even positive what I, what I have on Sure. Because we got to look up what we pay with that and all that. Or not that. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Turn yeah. around there. Oh, yeah. Get another yeah. shot yeah. of it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see if I can get into my files now. Mm -hmm. Nice ma magnetic. Uh, oh, yeah, that's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. Cheek press. Is it safe or is it empty or cock? Oh, can we cock it and? Uh, yeah, go for it. All right, sure. It's full there. Right. Let me ch let me confirm it's full there. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it is there. Yeah, I it just like there. to double check right, that. So. Yeah. Okay, and there's that. And these are currently available through Air Tanks for Sale. Joe Bricato, right there the man is, the air gun scientist. That's him. <laughs> <laughs> and he has them in stock in 2.2 and 2.5. And he's gonna get the barrels in, and the barrels are gonna retail for? Uh, like, just under 200. Does that include, does that come with the magazine as well if you order a barrel? Uh, I gotta look at, I, like I said, we just got everything in. I gotta find okay. out what the pricing is on it. I think the magazines might be extra, but they're cheap anyway, they're inexpensive. Yeah. We'll, we'll throw them in at an inexpensive uh, yeah. deal. And they're also, you know, if you go to Zabroya USA, look up our dealers as well. Uh, we have dealers all over the country too. How about uh, Georgia Air Guns? Uh, yeah, Charlie's got them. I've got, got them. Uh, who's got them? Well, Charlie, Charlie, Baker. Just go to, yep, Baker has them. Okay. Uh, 
Air Gun Depot has them, Utah Air has them. Now, not everybody has the Sapsan. Okay, that's what, I, that's what I'm referring to. Well, right Who now, has the Sapsan? Right. right now, me, because sure. we just got them in like a day ago. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, but if the, as soon as we call up the dealers, I get back from the SHOT Show, mm -hmm. let them know they're available, they'll have them yeah. too. It smells brand new. <laughs> it's got that brand new smell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, Mark, let me go ahead and hang out and handle this, and you can just... Uh... Yeah, let me look up that price, because I'm not sure if it's 11 or 12 right now. There it is, folks. Very nice. Very nice. Wow. And accurate. You know what the Zebra is? Oh, I know. Accurate. Yes. That's the thing I'm, I'm proud on. Your barrels are made in house. And extremely well made. Oh, yes. I yeah, can Char attest to that. Charlie over at uh, you, George Air will tell you how much he loves it, how, how, how he just thinks that they're the best. And not everybody does. Utah Air's been bragging about them. Um, Air Gun Depot's bragging. Everybody's saying how great. Yes. Regular adjuster right here. Yep. Hammer spring adjustment right here. Yep. You saw it on Air Gun Reviews and Honey Channel. It's a Royal Sapson. I'm in a market for a new air gun, so that's why I need to pull it for myself. And it's very, what do you think, Mark? Yeah. Very light. Yeah, yeah. Six, seven I'd say pounds. Like six yeah. pounds, maybe? Yeah. The most? Very light. Wow. Just. Okay, it comes with two magazines. All right, sounds like it wasn't screwed on. Let's see if we'll give her another shot. I'm sure if she's, uh... Okay. But you can also uh, screw in your own aftermarket moderator, Dine FL. Choose your poison. Wow. Very nice. Oh, this gun's right here? Really? Yeah. Six foot long, two two, you get 17722. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, this would be like a nice little, it's like a junior for like a kid's version, you know? Okay. You're not recording yet, are you? Uh, yeah. You can, you, you can edit out whatever you don't need. Oh, so. okay. Um, we're here at the BSA booth, and what I have in my hand is uh, BSA Ultra JSR and 22, available also in 177. Wow, it's very light. Good for target shooting, blinking, a little pest control. BSA R10. Wow, very nice build. Regulated, 2 2. Adjustable trigger. Head on the trigger lever. R10. Adjustable butt pad. T rest. It does not appear you can move the handle from left to right. Let's 
save the fire. That's a book up. We are here at the Gamo booth. Gamo now owns Daisy along with BSA. And of course you see the Daisy 880. This is the model that I grew up shooting. Obviously all plastic parts in it now, but I still have the metal version as well as the plastic version. This is the Gamo TC 35L PCP. 35 caliber. The Gamo TC 35 is very flat due to the and very lightweight thanks to the carbon fiber tank. This 35 caliber Big War air gun can deliver up to 170 foot pounds and shoot at 190 fast air in half. And the other one is scared, it also delivers up to 30 shots and shoot at 80 Ultra versatile, ultra fun. It still delivers such energy and consistency. The TC 35 is an extremely TC 35, TC 45 caliber, 900 feet per second. Here you have the Gamma Swarm Whisper 10X. Magazine system here. Green band indicates it's a hunter. 2-2, red bag in the case 177. Green for hunting. Bone Collector, Gamma Earth, Gamma Bone Collector. The magazines on these rest on top as opposed to a Gamma Swarm. Interrupted. <laughs> what country? Yes. What country are you from? If I tell you, will you take it back? Yes. Colombia. Okay. <laughs> Magazine rests on top. I don't want to cause a scare. 
up on singles, you know what I mean? So there's kind of a good thing. Can't go upstairs. There's a booth up, upstairs. Pushing these swarms. More swarms. Ah, here we go. DSA Brigade oh, Gamma. Oh, wow. Hey, look at this bull pup. I'm still recording one. I'm trying to grab it here. Well, this is Gamma Furia. Cheap rest. Here is the wood version. Of course, we already did the Defiant, but this is the Lamb and Stock version. Now you find out about this one here. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Let's see if we can find somebody. Uh, yeah. 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 Quick question about it. At the Beeman booth. Kodiak, X2, interchangeable barrels on 17722, brake barrel, Longhorn, same deal, 17722. And here is Mark holding, what model is that, Mark? B59, it's not, it's, it's, it's not out yet. It's It'll be here in six. We'll have everything in six months. This is gonna be our booth. We are at the Beeman booth and Mark is holding the, what? what is it again? B59. B59. 1380. 1380 in the catalog, yeah. 1380. B59, I'll get it. MSRP, 1380. No, the MSRP for this is going to be 600. Oh, 600. So 1380. What did I get? 1380 is the model. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the 1380 model. Okay. MSRP is $600. And I take it at that price, it's probably not regulated. It is regulated. Oh, it is regulated. Oh, it is my, regulated. okay. Regulated to 575. Okay. It can be adjusted a little bit more dependent on your pellet. It's got adjustable trigger, and as you see, it's yeah, got an yeah, excellent yeah. two stage two trigger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cock elevator. Yeah, sure. There we go. It's got also a dry fire function. Yeah. I see your dry fire. Sure. Okay. Rock it. Sometimes. Yep. yep. Okay. Who makes the barrel? We make it from our, it comes from our factory. That's good. I don't know if you, if you remember the Demon Chief was like, was introduced about three years ago. Sure. You've seen the review. The yard's like this, for under $200. Sure. Uh, okay, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Beeman the same as a uh, Viroc? No. No, no. Beeman has, has the Viroc line and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but that we, we license that to uh, Pyramid Air. Sure. Good. So right here is all, everything is made in Asia. Sure. Not the, not the so this is made in China? Yeah, yes. correct, yes. yes. Okay. But you yeah. check the excellent quality. Adjustable, everything. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So this is, would be considered a, a field target? No, no it's more the, the indoor 10, 10 meter. meter. Type. Oh, yeah. 10 meter. Right. 10 meter gun, yes. Yeah. It's not going to oh. come with a skull, it's going to come with your Sure. 
Now, this doesn't appear to be ambidextrous stock. I'm left handed. Yeah, that's. I that would be a problem. Yeah, that would be a problem. Yep, yep. Just uh, the grip. I there. just wish yeah. manufacturers would think about <laughs> left handed people. I know. It's left is terrible. right. Yes, left is right. Is right is wrong. Right. Yes. You know, it's like, I don't understand that. You know, just make everything yeah. ambidextrous. Right. Yeah, you know, right. Everything is except that one. Hmm. Oh, that's. Right. Sweet. Sure. Sure. So you something that nobody has in the industry right now. Here we have the QB78S for synthetic. But this particular one has a magazine. Or the one that I have did not have a magazine. I had to add a completely different aftermarket breech from Archer Air Guns, convert over to this HPA, same thing with the QB78, but I had the QB79, and I had to put the aftermarket uh, breech with magazine, also converted over in HPA and 2.2 caliber. Very accurate guns. I did a review on the QB78S with... Uh, Conversion. Okay. Now, what is this one here? Yeah, just a rough prototype. And uh, yeah, and uh, notice how it cocks there. Ten yeah. shot magazine. Regulated? No, not regulated. <laughs> right, but still. Okay, so when is this going to be released? Six months. Six months. The US release. market? Yes. Okay. MSRP on? Uh, uh, 450. 450. Wow. The only one in the market with this cocking mechanism. You never have to take your eye off the target. Sure, sure. Okay. Mark, I'm still recording. You want to? Okay, you wanna, sure. Uh, sure, sure. I got a YouTube channel. So <laughs> oh, I, you do? Yes. Great. And, and of course, you know, I like to feature different products. I'm a hunter, you know, a great party shooter, you know. Remember if you're shooting, I have to take your eye. Right. What calibers? 22 and 177. Okay. All right, so the magazine is how many rounds? 10 shots. 10 shots. How many magazines you get two? You get one. One? Do you get a single shot tray or anything like that? You get a single shot tray. Okay. Right here, yeah, and they had that caliber. It will show you what shot you are in. Yeah. But this is last year. This is going to be next year. That's going to be. That's how small it's going to get. Oh, this is going to be the one that's going to be going in production. This, no, this was last year. This is how they're going to be now. Oh, this is how they're going to be now. Okay. Small. Oh. Oh. So you say this is going to be released in? What's the name of this? Yeah. That is. 1357. Yeah. 1357. Model number is there, okay, but there is no specific name <laughs> for, the, for the gun. It's model number 1357 for the 177, model 1358 for the 22 caliber. Now, this does not unscrew, does it? No, no. But it's got its back. Okay. If you really want to take it off, this is an Allen wrench right here. Get out, you can take your baffles off. Oh, okay. So, Alan Rich right here, take the baffles out. You could probably uh, modify it to make it even more quiet. I'm more concerned about, oh, this does not have a, uh, it's PCP, but no gauge. Not yet. It's a prototype. 
Okay, folks, well, prototype. Oh. As you can see, you need cocking. Never take your eyes off your target. Neat. Kind of neat. I really like it. Okay, this is uh, one that I'm going to have to put in my collection. <laughs> Here we go. $5.99 retail. Sweet. I believe it's uh, a 10 shot bag. It can be, I know it can go from either, either side. Yeah. Back either side. Yeah. Can the side lever be converted from left to right? Looks like it. Yeah. It can. Yeah, absolutely. $5.99, huh? Retail. $5.99. And I'm going to get the catalog because that knows more about it than I do. Is this a uh, suppress? Suppressor, this a, yes. So it is a suppressor to keep the noise level down. Is the regulator adjustable? So externally? No, it's no. all it's going to do is tell you how much. Sure. Yeah. Okay, no external hammer spring adjuster. No. It would have to come out of the stock to be able to do all that. And it looks like there's a, quite a bit of few screws. Yeah. yeah just Torx screws to yeah, uh, just separate, just pop everything sides. off to do some fine adjustments. Here's some of the other specs on it. It's really a 10 shot instead of one. It is PCP, yeah. recharge pneumatic, issue pellets, 22 or 25 caliber. There's two different models. Okay, so there, there you have it. The Walter Rain bullpup configuration, 2225. And that, yeah, we talked about that can be loaded with Side. Right. So, any idea on the cylinder? Um, I think it is. Uh, no, I don't know that. I'll tell you. Tell you. Okay. You guys have a catalog? No, we don't. Let me, let me get you one. Walter Rain. UXT coming out this summer. That's a nice looking little bull pup. What do you think the, the weight of it is? Six pounds. With scope? Yeah, yeah not much at all. How's the trigger on that? Is it like yeah. a two stage or? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, it's a half, one and a half. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, one and a half stage. It's not. That doesn't oh, it's have regulated, that so. Yeah. Ten shot, twenty-two, nine shot. Ten shot. How many magazines you get? Uh, ten shot, twenty-two. Nine shot, twenty-five. Mag. You want a mag? Okay. And, you know, it makes me wonder, maybe some of these specs aren't final yet, if it's not out yet, so yeah, they may not. And it, you'll see it at what, Pyramid Air, Airgun Depot, places like that? Yeah, at first, right. It probably won't be in mass because of the retail of $5.99. So it won't be any higher than $5.99, is what you're saying? No, right. Lothar Walter Barrel? Not positive. $5.99 is the top of the line and everything. Right. So we don't sell. Okay. Are you still uh, producing the Walter Rotex? Do you have one that's on the wall? On display? Going here are all new items. New items? Okay. That Rotex might be in the catalog. Yeah, I, I saw the Rotex in the catalog. Okay. It's brand new. We've got hundreds of new. Items that mess, mm -hmm. but we're just showcasing the new ones. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hard to stock everything here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I want to go over there and check out that new rifle, that big bore. What is that? The uh, hammer. So let's go over there real quick, and uh, I want to get some info on that. You want to grab that there, Mark? Right here. 
Yeah. What is that going to be? Uh... It's going to retail for seven ninety nine. We're shipping it now. Boomer's um, hammer. What is that? Uh, 50? 50 caliber. 50 caliber. It's got a two slug mag. A what mag? I'm sorry. Two they slugs. have two slugs. Yeah. Two slug mag. How many shots? You're going to get three lethal shots out of this. And after that, it's going to drop quite a bit. You can fill it right here. Okay. Any idea on the foot pounds on this particular gun? Um, I believe it's 700 foot pounds wow. of energy, so that's pretty powerful. And a lot of this game, including bear, elk, uh, hogs. This is what the hammer has uh, taken out. Right above you. The Boomer X hammer. At 799. <laughs> And it's uh, shipping to what, Pyramid Air and Air Gun Depot? Yeah, they're the big boys, but a lot of people will be stocking. Uh, 4,500 PSI. 4,500 PSI? Look at this right here. Is Who says you gotta have a powder burner take out? You know. Yeah, mostly 50 calibers. Costs 1,500, 2,000. And this will do the exact same job. That's right. Not every state in the union is legal for right. air gun hunting. Right. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's uh coming. it's coming. Yeah. That's right. So, obviously assembled in China. Barrels are what Chinese or. Probably. Yeah, most of the product is coming out. Uh, most of the parts out of China. Yeah. We do a small bit of assembly here in Fort Smith, in our home office. We're the first one to come out with a 50 caliber air rifle. That's incredible. Go pick up that gauntlet there. That's uh, yeah. it's a 22 or 25. And yeah. down the road, you'll see a 30 caliber. Wow, now, this is obviously uh, right. custom, or, or can you get it like that? Well, that's pretty custom. Okay. Normally, it's just the gray. Omar X Gauntlet, two 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 five. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. That's multi shot, also a mag. Kind of ten it. ten round mag for yeah. two two, probably nine for. 25. I think this is 9. It does come in 177 also, but 22 yeah. and 25 is the way to go. Um, retail for just under $300. <laughs> yeah, that's a good price. It's a 3,000 3, PSI tank. This tank is not, or are they starting to come out with this style tank now? Because I know when we first released a... Uh, yeah, this is a little bit different style. Yeah. Umar X, I mean, it came with the, the small metal tank, but this looks like a longer tank. Yeah. It's considered a 9 ounce, I think. Right? Okay. That means. Right around 1,000 feet per second. And what caliber? In, uh, in 22. Okay. You know, like, it's going to drop down to 25. It's probably about 900. But you can get close to 90 shots out of this. 90 shots, wow. That's pretty good. Bolt action. That's about it. Okay. Well, thank you for that information there. Here at the Crossman booth, you see in front of you is the camouflage version of the Benjamin Marauder. This one is, don't quote me on this, but it looks like it's on a 2240 platform. 
with a longer barrel. From the custom shop. From the custom shop. Oh, this one here is from the custom shop as well. Pump action. The shoulder stock. Okay, what else we gotta do there? Woodwork walker here, wood walker. What's going, Tim? Hey, just wondering if this is the field target one? No, it's not. That's our new semi automatic. Okay, this is what I, this is one I wanna. It's like that. Sort huh? of. It's, it's sort of like that one. The one up on the uh, table over here is, is more like a field target gun. Oh, because I mean, is that just a regular Gen Gen 2 uh, without the regulator? Is it just a standard? I think that's the regular. The one on the table back there is the regular, I think. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. It just got a different stock on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's like fishing our custom shop. Yeah, I can see. I didn't know. The gentleman asked, did not know if that was uh, the regulated version or not. Yeah, it probably is. Um, just because we wanted to. To show people like the options that are available on our custom shop. Custom shop out, Marcus. Is so this is the, the new semi auto uh, Marauder. What caliber is 22. 22 only. Just 22 only for now? Yep. Is it uh, regulated? It is. So how many shots? 60. 60 shots per fill. Okay. I have a regular, I got a Gen 2 Marauder. Yeah, the, the air tube's longer on this one. I got just I just a standard Gen 2. So the newer is the newer Marauders have the longer barrel or just the one that's at the uh, field target version? I, I think just the ones that have the regular are longer just because they have to make room for that. Okay. The actual regular. The barrel is that in house or is that? Yeah. Okay. I was wondering if that. One of the guns had a Lothar Walter. Must be thinking of the other one, the 1720T. Yeah, the 1720T. Yeah, what's your name? Mark. Mark. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Okay. So, in our uh, custom shop, we do have other models mm -hmm. that have Lothar Walter barrels. Which um, model is that? It's, no, I'm just, just variants sure. of, of the Marauder. Oh, no. We don't okay. have a feature here. But, yeah. Look at that Challenger. Is that the, what is that? Uh, oh, yeah. This is a 10 meter. 10 meter gun? Yep. Yeah. Really like it. Not, not very powerful. Hmm. Not regulated, so you, you could put a regular in and make it really. Accurate. It's got the Marauder. It's got the Marauder trigger on this. You know, this is a Challenger PCP. What is that? A 177? You think? Yeah, it's a 177. What? Okay. So that must be just uh, the hammer spring. Let's see if the triggers got to be light. First stage, then wow. Third, wow. I wonder what the feet per second is that. That's yeah, it might be 600, 650. Okay, 600 feet per second showing. Wow, that is very nice. See, are you the Mark? Is the engineer? Am I the engineer? No. no. Who's the engineer that's uh, from Crossman that does? He's always on the GTA forum. Can't think of the guy's name. Oh, Phil Guadalupe over there is. He's on the forum. He's on yellow in the GTA. Uh, who is he? Where is he? This guy talking right now. 
Oh, so well, he's the engineer. He does all that. He's, he's a product manager. Oh, product this manager. Is, this is his line. Though. Okay. He, he's an engineer. He probably knows stuff. Oh. <laughs> do, you, do you have engineering questions about? Well, you? I was talking. You know who uh, Frederick Eggerson? Uh, X, X yeah, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, uh, I, have, uh, I have a friend that. Oh, do you know Ernest Rowe? Then? I don't. No, no. never heard. Of him. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, no, no. anyways, I have a friend in the Philippines. He makes air guns, and he's very good at what he does. He just born in the wrong country. Okay. And trying to get him over here to the U.S. so he can do some good and make some money for his family. You know. Instead of being in a third world country and making air guns, but I have some of his air guns at home and they shoot just fine. And yeah. it's all hot mess stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Frederick FX is interested in it. So I think, well, maybe maybe Cross might be interested in it. All right. So Give me his card. Soup, soup the nuts. He does everything: design, manufacturing. Okay. He does it all. Okay. He can make his own barrels. He's made his barrels. Yeah. yeah. You know, stocks. He's everything. stocks, everything. Yeah. The guy's really good. He's considered top notch in the Philippines, but he's a friend of mine. And I told him, I said, Look, I'll try my best to see if I can talk to somebody here in the air gun industry or yeah, like Crossland totally. to see if it, maybe they might be interested in bringing him over and be part of the design team because that's really good. He shot in the Premier Air Cup with one of his rifles. Yeah, like 100 yard adventure. He's a Philippine rifle. Nice. So I I don't know if uh, Crossman's looking for you know RD guys or, or what you know that's the reason why I'm asking that right, question. Right, yeah. I, you have to take a look at our like LinkedIn page and and job postings. I don't I don't know that. Yeah. It's not my world, but yeah. Let's go on. Yeah. Uh, I'm having a conversation. This is going on, but yeah. You know, I, just trying to help the guy out, man. You know, do something nice for him. Get him over yeah, here. Totally, totally. totally. You know, because he loves air guns, and he. It's like his father was making air guns, and he died at a young age, so he took over the craft, and he's been making it ever since. But but ser seriously, I'm, he should he should go on our website, find find our postings and all that, just to see what what's out there. Go through the regular process. Um, I know that we are always looking for people that are passionate about air guns. Oh, this yeah. guy. So, yeah. yeah. You know, so it, hit, the, hit the ground running, that'd be, that'd be great. The problem is, it's, having, it's hard to get a visa to come to the U.S. unless somebody sponsors that person. That's right. Yeah. You know, yeah. and that, that's what uh, FX, they're saying, he gave me his personal business card. He said, hey, contact me. He's like, oh, you're interested. You know, FX trying to grab everyone. Yeah. Yeah, they got another guy from the Philippines. This is Ernest Rowe already. I guess they like him. So, yeah. He does all the tuning for FX. And he's from the Philippines. So, that's what I'm saying. Well, maybe we are crossing and use a guy like that on their team. Very well, Mike. Might have the need. Yeah, yeah if, this, if this is the guy I need to talk to, if, if he's part of a design team or something, you know, maybe you can use a guy like that. I don't no, know. Phil's, Phil's on the product management side no. of things, so Separate. Product, product dev. Right. Yeah. He, would, he would be involved in all that right. stuff, yeah. yeah. So I need to talk to him or I need to talk to somebody else? About your buddy? Yeah. You could try to talk to him, yeah, about, about that. He might know more than me. I'm, I'm not really yeah. in that. Yeah. in that world there yeah so let me look at you got a pioneer the airboat yeah airboat yeah you got a uh where you are sure sure this all right modern <laughs> yeah. are you, are you guys, shot the uh, film? are you familiar with this at all no i'm, I'm not honestly I, to be honest i don't know but you know I have seen put an arrow in there and fire away. O over there, over there. Over yeah. there, okay, so yeah. explain explain okay. the process here. So this, an, an arrow actually is um, has a different knock on the back. It's more of like a bushing, and it just goes down right over the, the tube Oh, here. okay, okay. And it seats in there, 
prevents it from uh, falling off the barrel, so you could it would it would stay on the barrel there. Mm -hmm. And then it also creates a seal, so when it shoots, the mm -hmm. air actually comes up from the from the front of the, the tip of the arrow. Okay. And acts like a missile the first couple of yards and just goes down range. Um, this is how you cock it right there. And now you're ready to shoot. It okay. goes full there. If you want to decock it, you just take it off safe. Pull the trigger. Wow. Go down there, you're safe. Okay. How many shots can you get out of it? You get about uh, 8 to 10 shots per fill. Okay. It, they're, they're screaming down at 450 feet per second. It doesn't do the, the, the standard like Archer's Paradox mm -hmm. with the arrow spine. It's like super straight. Oh, okay. Because it's, there's no limbs that it's hitting off of. And, I bet you sell a lot of those and uh we get the bulldog. Yeah, yeah, the bulldog is a uh, similar design but this is shooting 357 caliber bullets. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Sure. 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 How many foot pounds? Foot pounds of energy. It's got to be up there. Yeah, it's up maybe around like 140, 150 ish. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's really good. Yep. Mm -hmm. We've uh, got this in people's hands over in Africa and they, they've shot uh, wildebeests, oryx, sport hogs, all sorts of animals. And they, they do the, um, it's really. Autopsy and they, they show the, the path of the bullet, and wow. it's, it's no joke. Yeah, I see that. Okay, that's my friend shot a deer right when one shot with the 357. All right, yep. right there. Yeah. One shot. Yeah, yep. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, I am out in Michigan where we're from. They just changed their laws for air gun deer hunting. Yeah, are you, are you guys familiar with the uh, ASA? Yeah. So they've been they've been sort of I think they have so many on staff that goes and like checks all the laws for air gun legalization. Yeah, yeah. 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 different different species. Yeah. They have oh, yeah. some. Uh, yeah. That's good. And then we have the Gen Two Fortitude. Looks yep. like. Yeah. Sure. All right. Gen Two. It's supposed to be easier cocking. Is yes. it easy? Yes. Okay. How many shots you got? I know this. I know the Gen Two is uh, regulated. It is regulated, yeah. Like the Gen One, but how many shots you get? Let's bring Phil over here. How many shots on on the Fortitude Gen Two? Uh, Ninety plus shots. Man, it's going quick. So, but it because it, it's adjustable. So you can lower the, the velocity and I mean, we've achieved almost 200, 200 shots um, and, or you can increase it and get down to 60. So out of the factory right. it's about up to, okay. up to 90 shots. So yeah, this hammer thing adjusts right there yeah. in the back for adjustment. And retails for what? $300. $300. Bucks. Without the scope. Well, obviously yeah, without the scope. Is the Benjamin Max is still being produced? Yes. But he discontinued the uh, discovery. Yes, that was kind of uh, out of competitive. It looks, I mean, uh, Maximus stock would fit on a Benjamin Discovery, right? Yes. But then you have Maximus. Right. Well, you can just switch them around. <laughs> yeah. Good enough. Okay, we have uh, what is this? Three ninety two S. Old school. Yeah. Pump action. Still in production. That's amazing. What, what else do we have? Uh, the one ten. Variable pump rifle. This is a pump one. 
sweet. A lot of memories? Yeah, all these pump rifles. And look at this one here. This is, uh, ooh, hang on. This, uh, let's get this one right here. This is the Diamondback uh, brake barrel. Yeah, see, how, see how the caulking effort is on that. Oh, I don't want to go all the way on it. It's got some cocking force to it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. What is a... Uh, ooh. It says here it's firing at a 177 at 1,400 feet per second. And a 2.2 at 1,100 feet per second. That's, that's yeah, quite a good. bit. Never oh, this model here is a 25. <coughs> this is a Remington model 725 VTR. Remington brand. And 25 caliber. Ooh, man. <laughs> That's the stiff one. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even bother it. Uh, anyway, that's right. pretty stiff, guys. Uh, All right. Yeah. All right. Yes. Crossman Diamondback, right here. One at it. You just picked up. There we go. Amazing. Wow. Okay. There's not much here in the Diana booth other than the standard normal models that they offer. The RWS-34, the, what is that, the Mauser 98, the Diana Storm Rider. Then we have a Diana Skyhawk in the bullpup here. So, shooting a wheelie brake barrel is... Sorry, nice folks. There are a lot of guys who obviously like to watch that. So, oh, flat Diana's... If you want to easily do PCP. Air bug, but... Can't really talk to any salesperson because they're being occupied by other... Yeah. ...people asking questions, so... Sure. That's it. Manufactured by Comita. This is a brand new Comita... Oops, excuse me. Comita Advanced Made in Spain, sponsored by Air Force. Here we have the big bore line over there. 257, 308, 357, 45, 50. Heading 50, it'll launch something like that. I'm a bullpup type of guy. All right. So what can you tell me about, you know anything about it as far as you don't know if it's regulated or? 1000 PSI, it's regulated. It does have a magazine, a little rotary magazine. It's a okay. straight. It's a side lever bolt. Right. And it will auto sequence the magazine every time you have Right. And I believe it's a 10 shot rotary magazine. And, and when will they? Idea, yeah, yeah, exactly. When? Uh, when will they hit the shores? By like March, April. Yeah. Now this is still currently available in the U.S., yes. but I have not seen. At least, maybe you know, but is it popular at all? I mean, well, it's very popular in Europe. Yeah, they, they, they've been around for a long time, Comita, and. Uh, <clears throat> It's good enough quality that the boss uh, basically said, yeah, I can put my, you know, Air Force in that. Okay. And these two are brake barrel springers, and we feel that they're a little bit better quality than some of the other ones out there. The barrels, uh, where are the barrels made at? 
barrels for these are all made in Spain. Oh. We, we get these fully assembled, you know, okay. right out right of Spain. Are they, the barrels hammer or a forge or? I believe so. Chill. Come in, uh, come in, uh, links. Is that, uh, regulated? Yes. Oh. No variable power. No variable power? Okay. And what calibers? Um, this one is available 17 or 22. Uh, these are again 17 or 22, I believe. Yeah, 22 or 25, actually. So I want to say 77. This one I think might be available in 30. Uh, we're, oh, yeah. We're yeah, waiting to find out. Yeah, what, oh, I see what they'll yeah. ship. Yeah. yeah. I got you. Okay. And here is Air Force Line. Are these regulated by chance? These have variable power. Okay, so it's not regulated. Right, you got, you, got the, you got the variable power dial here. So if you're actually going after small game, you keep the power up. You're just knocking over 10 cans and punch the paper, pull the power down, you get more shots per tank. And yeah, an MSRP on these? Um, we're looking at about uh, 700 to 1100, depending on how you fill it out. Scope rings, riser, barrel length, you don't suppress it, not that far. That one right there is a great backyard gun. Variable power of the, uh, the uh, suppressor module. You can quiet it down to where the only thing your neighbors are going to hear is the action. Never knew you were there. Yep. No. It's like we tell people this isn't your granddaddy's days. <laughs> Seventeen twenty one, right here. <laughs> it is great to meet you guys. So, so how long you've been air gunning? A long time. A lifetime, but really got into it like ten years ago. Really? Yeah. Okay. And, and all the PCPs, yep. all that. Yeah. Yep. But now I had a wire rock break barrel when I was like eighteen and all that. Mm -hmm. But then the whole new world of PCPs. Oh, and, didn't it take yeah. over? Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. We have a video coming out tonight uh, shooting the impact at 415 yards. Ooh. So I got some stuff going on tonight. Ooh. It's pretty cool. Impact uh, at 415 yards? Yeah. Ooh. Spray paint can. Will the hybrid penetrate a spray paint can at 415? Ah. All right. That's so that one. comes out, and I shot a six inch. What, what caliber? 22. I know. Slugs? Yes. Wow. Hybrids. Yeah. 415. 415. Hybrid slugs. Hybrid slugs. All right. That's impressive. Wait till you see the group that it shot. Did you you guys watch Instagram at all or Facebook? No, I don't have Facebook. The wife does. You know, all right. YouTubers. All right. well, YouTubers. Okay, so I shot a six-inch group at a quarter mile with the impact. That's good. That's real good. And it's true. Because a lot of people were like, come on, man. And I was like, no. Come on, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. Come on. Like, <laughs> no, we nailed, we nailed it, and I was like, I, when I shot the first shot and I missed the balloon at, at 440, I was like, are you kidding me? I'm that close. I shot the second shot. I was, they were like this, they're like this, and then the third one goes, boom, it's a balloon at 440, quarter mile. You make some some incredible shots, man. That that we just have fun doing. I'm all about. It's all fun for me. It doesn't. I'm not real serious. So don't you guys ever think that I think I'm this or I'm not. I put my pants on the same way. Everybody thinks you're like this serious trick shot guy. No, I'm having fun with whatever gun we have. We want to do a trick shot and make it fun. Too. Okay. Yeah. Check this out. Yeah. I have my own channel. Yeah. It's starting out. Air gun reviews and hunting channel. Okay. That's my channel. Okay. Starting out slow, but you know. Anyways, 
I got this, uh, the Flash Pup S. Yes. And 2-2. Okay. Mm-hmm. I had a commenter about my uh, crowd punching rig. I put a regular in there and said, wow, that's not, it's not stock anymore because you put a regular in there. So I said, you yeah. know what? Okay. I picked up this uh, Flash Pup and I got the free scope, cleaned the barrel, put this crappy uh, yeah. scope on there, mm -hmm. 412 by 50. Mm -hmm. Shot it out to 50, 50 yards and make sure it was grooving. Mm -hmm. Well, and I said, okay, I'm going to go out to 100 yards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, granted, it wasn't on paper, but I'm hitting like a spinning black bird at mm -hmm. 100 yards. I mean, that's it's, really it's a, good. It's a, hunter, yeah. it's a hunting gun. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, okay, clay pins are four inches. So what? Uh, you know, everybody says, so what? Uh, any gun can hit a clay pin at you know, 100 yards. Well, yeah, that's true. But at least I know where I'm where my pellet's striking at. Yeah, yeah. Then I take an old junk scope. The inside was an inch and a quarter. Mm -hmm. The eyepiece. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I shot that three times. That's really good, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Out of hot sun flash but unregulated. Yeah. You know that's a great gun, right? The, the flash bulb. You know, uh, the flash is an amazing gun. I made some awesome shots. The Vectus opened a bottle at 50 yards poured it into the glass, you know, just shot the cap off with the Vectus. Vectus, yeah, <laughs> Vectus is awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. All guns have their harmonic tune, what their pellet is, what, it, they all have it. You just got to find it, that's all. Well, oh, yeah. you know, you get, but you get comments like, well, that's oh, not, you know, well. that's not a good shot, you know. Yeah. That, well, to me it is, you know, if I can shoot a scope at an inch and a quarter, I'm shooting inside the glass, so it's probably it's less than an inch. It's amazing. That's why I said that's very good shooting at that range. Oh, very yeah. good. I, I, to me, I, I think the hot sign guns. People don't understand the power and the accuracy they shoot really well. Of course, I see you're wearing air arms hats. Well, Did you see? We're just on the base. So, okay. Yeah, well, well, I have an air arm suit, so you I, know, I just, I, I just did a, too. <laughs> a little video from them about probably four weeks ago. I decided how accurate is an Air Arms S4, uh, S500. Mm -hmm. So it's a single shot. Oh, okay. I got the 510. Okay, so I took a JSB 844 and I took one staple out of a staple gun. One staple, set it on a balloon, shot it off the balloon. It took me one shot, two shots, probably two mm. shots. And how many yards? 50. Right. Make it fair. <laughs> Make it fair. 50 is good. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You know what it's like to shoot a, just a staple yeah. off of a balloon laying on yeah, the balloon? Right. Yeah. Without popping the balloon. Without popping right. it. Right. Yeah. Skin <laughs> in the surface. Skin love, in the surface. You know, I always love your trick shots, you know. Yeah. Like, oh, man, so, yeah. Let me check this guy out. We're man. just trying to have fun and do it. But you know what? It brings That's entertainment what I'm trying to do. and people like it. That's what I'm That's trying what, to yeah. do, too, you know. Yeah. You know, it's not about bragging or anything like that. Right. Like that. Just, you know, it's, yeah. it's neat to see it, you know, because I had it on a, uh, what was that, a uh, phone scope. I was yeah. I actually was recording it, you know. Yep. The, whole, the, the pellet hit it, and you can see it. it <laughs> awesome. Yeah. yeah, like, oh, I hit it. And I said, okay, let me try it again. Yeah. Hit it again. Mm -hmm. And then the third time I hit it, it the glass if it finally <laughs> fell over on the other side it was sitting on a post at 100 yards isn't that cool though <laughs> that's why i put the videos out there because guys are like can we shoot 100 while well, i'm shooting 100 with this guy you can shoot i, I if i can shoot it you can shoot it yeah i know it's amazing let me see if i got this picture just to show you guys let's see if we got it let's see if i can find this all right where are you at i got tons and tons of here you are uh, it's, a, it's still recording. I just want to get 17 Rick in the background. There you go. So there's 440. One, two, three. Look at this. Look at that camera. <laughs> that phone over here. Look at that. That was 440 yards with the hybrids. It took me three shots to hit the balloon at a quarter mile. Yeah. And that's the new power plan. So I had the power plan added, shooting them at 1,000 feet per second, 22 degrees. Yep. Well, this is just if this plays for us. So this is 300 yards. Think of this right here. So I was doing 300, and what you're about to see is you'll see a shot here, here, and here, all in the 12-6 line. Okay, there you go. What's happened, this is, I'm aiming right here, so the wind drift is that much at 300. 
you can see what we're doing. We're probably about six and a half inches mm -hmm. of wind drift. Mm -hmm. But watch the 12 6 line. This is reading the wind. You're going to see another shot hit right down here. Okay, you're like, well, that's not a great group, Rick. Here's what happens. He just brought it over. Watch this. So what I'll do now is when I shoot the next one, I hold the bag exactly the same as I did on this one. I use muscle memory. Uh-oh, 300. Mm -hmm. Now watch where the next one goes. Mm -hmm. It's 300 yards. The only reason these two are where they're at is because it wasn't holding the bag right. There you go. Right Whoa. in the same hole. That's 300. Mm -hmm. That's, that's 300 yards. That's amazing. Yeah. That's, that's that gun right there. And let's see what we got here. That's 300 yards. you believe that? That was 300 yards. Now those, That's 22 though, right? It's 22 grain. Yeah, 22. Wow. 22 yep. slug. Yep. This is, I think this might be the actual, I don't know if this will play. Yep, it popped already. Let me do this. Do this. Let's see if I can get it there. 440 yards. There you go. You heard the hit? Yep. All right, now. Remember though, remember what I cut out and I showed you? You can see the holes. Can you see them? Oh, One, yeah. two, three. There three they are. Yep. That's the actual footage of that day. This is on my phone, filming with this phone. That was the footage of that. Day. 440. Yeah. <laughs> they mad at you, Rick. They yeah. <laughs> mad at you, you know. Yeah. Doing those trick shots like that. Yeah. Hey, that's, that's, that's good. <laughs> so that just goes to show. And then all the stuff you've ever seen on video from. You guys, I don't know if you saw the, the pile driver. I think it was the pile driver if this, if this comes out. I shot through the two by four and split the playing card. Oh, no, it's a Texan. So I used the Texan for it, 457, right over there. Wow. Let's see if we can get this to, let me see if I can get this to play for us. 50 grand slot. Blah, 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 blah. So how many years have you been coming to the shot show? Uh, it's only my second year. Yeah? Let me see if this is it. Yeah. Trying to get that. You probably can't. Can you see it okay? No. Let me see that. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, how many yards again? 50. What do you mean? Split yeah, so I shot through the 2 by 4 nice. and cut the card. These, these, these are all videos that are coming out, but yeah. Oh, here it is. That, that's what was, there you go. Right. That's the photo. Right. There you go. One hole, right. Right. one in the target, cards in half. Right. Through the two by four. I couldn't even see the card to shot the two by right. four. <laughs> 457 over there. Okay. What's the saying now? What's your saying? Which one? Taking the impossible shots and making yeah. it possible? Yeah. You always have that, that yeah. punchline. Yeah. I always have to say something like that or... You know, come on, man. There you yeah. go. That's the, that's the when, Come yeah, on, man. When you make a shot, you're like, come on, man. I can't believe we just nailed that thing. You know? Come on, like, man. Oh, that's yeah. what really gets me. Yeah. Oh, all right, guys out there, man, doing all these trick shots. It's man. all <laughs> just for fun. I know. Oh, yeah. And that's what it's all about, you know. Have some fun with it. You know? Yeah. Put some stuff out there, you know, and yeah. see if you can you know, knock it over, you know. So what? You know, I, I'm not a. Well, that's pretty cool, the scope know, shot with the, the flash. That's good shit. Yeah. Were they JSBs you were shooting? Like no, it was air arms. Or was it? Oh, it was well, air arms. It's it, it like, ammo too. It, it liked the air arms yeah. for some reason, you know. I was like, well, okay, I, you know, I, yeah. I got to go with what, what it's doing, man. And it was putting a hole in the hole, man, with that crappy scope too. Man. I'm telling you, the hot on flash and flash pop is super accurate. And people don't know it. They're like, ah. Eh. But listen, I made some awesome shots with those. So. I, okay, you know, the same scope that I shot, you know, I had it flipped around and I was shooting a Hassan 25 wood flashbulb. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I shot the same same scope, but it was in the front part. Yep. I'll then the next day, you know, or a week later, I, I shot the flashbulb. And I said, well, you know what, let me fuck the scope around. Let me get, make yeah. it a little harder. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys go down? Did you see hot sun at all? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Did you see the hydra? Yeah. That's yeah. gonna be interesting. Yeah, they're yeah. gonna I think they're sending that in about a week. I'll, I'll get it and we'll go through that and see yeah, what it does. Good one. You need yeah. to go and subscribe to my channel. I, got I will it. do that. Just uh, get your phone with you, just go in there and go You gotta type it in. Uh let's see what we get here. So we're on Wi Fi here. Yeah. Yeah. What do you got going on? Give me a second. 
go. Type okay. In. Type it in. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. John from FX. I might have to be. Yeah. Might be in call. Uh, okay. Let me you're, see what's going you're on. Summoned. Yes, sir. On my way. You ready? All right. All right. I'll be there soon. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Sorry, guys. Duty calls. Oh, that FX guy. Oh, okay. No, I was gonna I'm sorry. All right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let yeah, me type yeah, it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that before I leave. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you were getting there.